up, everybody? Farouk Tahid here with another episode of the Stride Championship Series. And on my left is a super excited, check out that smile, super excited Puckett. Puckett, why don't you tell everybody why you're so excited about this match? All right, here it is, Farouk. Now, this matchup coming up is a dream come true for any diehard MLG fan. Now, going into Dallas, straight rip it, they established themselves as the top team in the league. Carbon, on the other hand, they've placed a disappointing eighth place at our last two tournaments. So for Dallas, Carbon, they made a team change. They picked up Walshy and they picked up Nated. Now don't forget, Walshy had just been kicked off his old team, Instinct, and Nated didn't even make it out of the amateur bracket in Columbus. Now this Carbon squad was a ragtag lineup of veterans that very few people expected to do well. And now here they are going up against the number one team in the league. And not only that, but they would have to play straight ripping on Amplified Team Slayer, Chris. A game tight straight ripping had never lost in 2009 and only lost once in 2008. So let's check out what the players had to say before the match. The biggest mistake we can make in this game type is just underestimating the other team. We are undefeated this year on Amplified Team Slayer and we're just going to keep that going. But uh, any, any team can catch fire at any moment. As long as we keep the other team from doing that and getting ahead of us, then the game is ours. Uh. I think the biggest player on serving you have to shut down is going to be snipe down. But at least on Amplified, legit likes to run around and cause a lot of havoc. So if we can make sure to catch him when he's trying to sneak around, we can do a lot. We can do really well. Uh, best on our team at Amp, uh, probably Nated. I mean, as long as we're distracting from towers and up top, he's able to go around, clean up, and flank them all. So Nated claims he's going to get killionaire, but he says a lot of crazy things. So. <laughs> Um, I think we're gonna have to shut down Naden, if anyone. Um, he could get off. He could go off. He's one of those players that does. So we're just gonna keep him shut down. I mean, it's just like playing anyone else. Uh, Naden, he's, he's an old teammate, good friend. But when it comes to playing him, he's just any other player. Um, on MTS, I think we gotta shut down legit. He's you know he's got such a solid BR, and he's gonna be roaming around. So we can't let him get flanks on us. Or if he does, we gotta hunt him down right away and can't let him distract us too long. Uh. I think the biggest player on serving you have to shut down is going to be Snipe Down. But at least on Amplified, legit likes to run around and cause a lot of havoc. So if we can make sure to catch him when he's trying to sneak around, we can do a lot. We can do really well. So some interesting comments from both of our teams. Are you ready for this matchup? Definitely. Let's lock it up. And we're going to open this one up with the guy who put in the third and final flag that game. It's Walshy from Team Garvin. I got one. one shot at Blue Edge. R and two. One shot R street. One shot pick three legit. One shot P one. 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 One shot P Control. I gotta switch over. I gotta see what's happening on the straight rip inside. Let's listen in with Snipe down. Hey, it's me. One shot. Hey, it's pink side over here on me. On me, pink. 
speak so, he's so. Watch the red wall, watch the red wall. 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 I'm on, I'm on. Blue gold, blue gold. Right blue gold, blue gold. Blue gold, blue gold. Blue gold, blue gold. Blue gold, one shot, guys. In front of this base. Blue gold, blue gold. 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 Scott, looking at the score here, it is 37 to 28. Carbon absolutely destroying at the start, and they continue to keep their lead. What is going wrong here for Straight Rippin? Straight Rippin just falling into their trap. Carbon is not playing aggressive as they normally would, and they just attack their base, then pull out, and then they're using gold three to their advantage. They are sitting top car and just pinpointing them down in the courtyard. And by doing that, Straight Rippin falls right into their trap. And right now, you're checking out as Defy has 14 kills in this game, 42 to 34. Straight Rippin starting to make it a closer game. But right now, we're just eight kills away from seeing Carbon go up 2-0 over the number one team in the league. And to five right there, he had a killing spree earlier in the game. And like you said, they're up there, they got the top vantage point. They look down, they got easy shots on these guys. Doing a great job as Team Carbon. And you know, I've been seeing Walshie win one-on-one -on -one VR battles against both Snipe Down and Legit so far this game. It just seems that this new Carbon team is playing with a whole new level of energy that Straight Rippin is being caught off guard by. And you know, and you know, while she's always had one of those playing styles where it's just annoying enough that he doesn't even win the VR battles because he always lives in situations. But now since he can win VR battles, I couldn't imagine playing against him. And check out the score, 46 to 40. We're coming down to the final moments of this game. Defy fearlessly charging into red base. He's gonna be taken down, but Shockley is able to capitalize, cleaning up the kill for the double. 49 to 41, going for the final kill on Legit. And he wins it again. And checking out the stats here, Defy, 17 and six. Oh my, Defy, that is a plus 11. Snipe down doing all he can with the plus six, but El Might Warrior just got taken advantage of by the Carbon team in that game. What an explosive performance by Defy. He really stepped up his game. Yeah, and he did it against straight ripping on their best game type. I don't think we've seen him play this well since 2006 when he was on Straight Rippin'. Wait, hold up. Defy was on Straight Rippin'? Yeah, back in 2006 at the Carbon Straight Rippin' rivalry's peak. Well, judging by how this game went, it looks like it's starting up all over again. And it should be exciting if they match up in the future. As usual, we caught up with some of the players from both teams after the game and got their closing comments. Here's what they had to say. I'm not usually as good at Amplified. This is actually the first time I've dropped over like 15 kills uh, in probably like a month. Usually Nate gets them all, but they were just falling in my lap this game. Uh, game two didn't go right at all. So, I mean, we didn't start right, we didn't finish right, we didn't play it right. So, that's why we're wrong. The only reason I was able to go positive 11 on uh, Amplified TS is because my teammates were all helping me, weakening everyone they saw, and I just got easy cleanup kills. The five picked a great time to make Amplified his new best game type. Well, this wraps up our Dallas coverage. But before we go, Bucket, why don't you tell us how the Stride leaderboard stands? Well, after an amazing individual performance during the entire tournament, Ogre 2 is at the top of the Stride leaderboard. He's followed by Snipe Down, Victory X, Legit, I Got Your Pistola, Shockwave, and Hysteria. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode as much as I did. For everyone here at MLG, thanks for watching.